Well, sabi nga nila, maraming bagay dapat hintayin. And obviously, a lot of Filipino fans have been waiting for the moment where we finally see uh, our guest today. He's not only uh, playing in Philippine shores, he's also the number one overall pick in the PBA draft. No other than Brandon Ganuelas Rosser. Good day, uh, Brandon. Thanks for joining us today on Power and Play. Thanks for having me. It's uh, so good to finally meet you and to finally uh, have you playing five on five basketball. You know, um, uh, let's just l have a little bit of a look back here. A year ago, you were not allowed to join the draft. You were declared as ineligible because of certain papers. But th this year, you've finally been allowed. We saw you in 3x3. How good does it uh, feel to finally get your, uh, your, your uh, game on the five on five court of the PBA. Oh, it's um, it's a dream come true. You know, it's uh, something that I've looked forward to for a long time now. Uh, you know, I've been a big fan of the PBA for a long time. You know, going back to seeing my brother play and you know, inspiring to be on the same you know stage and platform as him. So, like you said, a year ago, you know, I was denied, but uh, you know, I'm here now, and you know, I'm just grateful to you know have this opportunity. Well, you know. Uh, you, you, a lot of people are waiting for you, of course. Uh, they saw you in 3x3. We saw you um, with Alab. And we know the kind of caliber of a player uh, that you are. Uh, now that you have been selected as the number one overall pick in this year's draft, do you feel pressure um, uh, to prove yourself? Uh, not at all. You know, it's, um, obviously there is some, you know, outside pressure, but nobody puts more pressure on me than myself. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's just basketball. You know, it's my favorite sport. It's something I love to do. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm excited for the opportunity and, you know, I just can't wait to, you know, finally be out there on the court and, uh, you know, showcase my skills. You are joining Blackwater Bossing, uh, of course, a team that, uh, unfortunately, had a string of uh, bad luck in, uh, you know, a couple of uh, or several seasons in the PBA. Um, it has that infamous record for futility. And, um, you know, it's still, of course, on the, on the building end of the spectrum uh, among the teams. How do you feel about joining Blackwater, knowing that, you know, that's where it's coming from and, you know, that the future is still uh, on the rise for them? Oh, I'm excited, man. You know, um, like you said, you know, winning is a process, you know, and you can't, you know, cheat. You can't cheat any steps. You know, you have to go in there and you have to work hard. So, you know, hopefully when I get there, you know, I can, um, you know, go in there and affect some change and, you know, hopefully win some games. So, uh, you know, it takes a collective effort, effort. You know, I can't, you know, do it by myself. You know, and those guys have been there, you know, they're veterans of the PBA. So, you know, I'll follow their lead. You know, there's a lot of talent there. You know, we just have to put it all together. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it because uh, I feel like, you know, if we play our game and play together, you know, you never know what can happen. I, I'm sure you've seen Blackwater play because you were, uh, you, you've been here, you've been playing 3x3 and, you know, uh, I'm sure you've been watching a lot of the games in the PBA. When you look at that team, the bossing team, how do you fit in, Brandon? Um, where do you think can you contribute immediately so that, you know, you'll have an impact on the team? Uh, you know, I think I just have to, you know, play my game. You know, I'm, I pride myself on being a two-way player, you know, being versatile. So, you know, a little bit of everything, you know, whatever coach wants me to do, you know, that's what I'll do. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I just want to go there and, you know, just fit in and you know, work hard and lead by example. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get some playing time and you know, hopefully, you know, win some games. Talking about uh, Coach Ariel, uh, your head coach, have you talked to him? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, going to practice. You know, he's a really nice guy. Uh, you know, it's um, you know, it's going to be fun to play for him. You know, I can't wait to get out there with all the guys and you know, play and practice. Has he given you any kind of, or any particular role? Has he told you what he plans uh, to do with you when you when you get to the team? Uh, no specifics. Uh, you know, he just told me to be myself. You know, play hard. You know, they said, uh, you know, one of the reasons why they're attracted to me is, you know, the way I play, you know, the, the intensity I play with. And you know, I feel like if you play hard, you know, you get rewarded. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to go out there and just play my hardest and let the chips fall where they may. That team is, is not bad. You know, you've got some great guards uh, in that team. And when you look at the lineup, 
uh, uh, McCarthy, uh, Milton, Casio, and even uh, Abasera Mer are excellent guards uh, in uh, Blackwater. Then you've got some very good wing players in Desiderio and even Ray Suerte, who used to be with the national team. And here you come as a big man. Um, who are you most excited uh, to play with in uh, Blackwater bossing? Do you know any of your teammates uh, from the past? Uh, I know some, you know, I know Rashawn, you know, he was a uh, teammate with my brother, uh, you know, at San Miguel and at Terra Firma, so I, I know him a little bit, and, you know, I've been, you know, talking with him a lot at practice, and, you know, he's giving me the lowdown of the team, but, uh, you know, I'm excited to play with all of them, you know, like you said, you know, we have some talent on there, we just have to put it all together, so, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we just work hard and, you know, play together, uh, you know, good things will happen for us. You know, I've seen some of your highlights and uh, most of them are, of course, on the offensive end. Most of them um, getting your shots up from three-point range and, of course, uh, that strong drive, that uh, athleticism that you display wherever you play. Um, Brandon, you know, which part do you think of your game um, is more mature going into the PBA? Is it your offense or your defense? And, and I guess that, that what the question that is begged is, which part are you going to work on more? Uh, you know, I think that you always have to, you know, work on your game, you know, every part of it. Uh, you know, you can't get complacent, you know, you can't get, uh, you know, stagnant. But, uh, you know, I think my defense, you know, is something that I pride myself on and something that, you know, I look forward to, you know, showcasing out there, you know, being able, you know, to guard bigs and, you know, guards and wings. You know, I think that's something that the 3x3 game helped me a lot with, you know, being able to switch on to smaller guys and then, uh, you know, hold them, you know, down. So, you know, I think my defense is something that, you know, I want to really go out there and show, you know, the fans and, uh, you know, the other players that, you know, that's something that I pride myself on. Are you concerned about the physicality of the PBA, Brandon? Uh, not at all. I'm a physical player myself. So, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of big guys there, but, you know, I never back down, you know, from anybody. So, uh, obviously, you know, it's going to be tough, but... You know, I know that just comes with, you know, playing in the PBA and you know, that's what makes, you know, it's a tough league, you know, it's, uh, it's physical. So, you know, I think I got a taste of it, you know, pretty good in the 3x3, you know, which was really <laughs> physical. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to say it's not going to be easy, but, you know, it's something that I think I've been able to adjust to pretty well. Outside of your team, is there a player that, or player or players that you're looking forward to facing uh, and playing against? Obviously, my brother Matt. You know, it's going to be <laughs> right. pretty cool. Right, here we you go. Know, it's, it's, it's something that it's something that we've talked about for a long time now, and you know, for it to actually be happening, that's it's pretty special. So, you know, uh, you know Matt, and then uh, you know, obviously, there's a lot of talented big men out there. You know, Junmar Fajardo. You know, is a guy that you know I've watched a lot. You know, just because you know Matt was on his team, and then you, know, you got guys like you know Christian Sandhorninger and Jaffet Aguilar, and you know guys like that. So. It's going to be fun, you know, to, to go out there and test myself and, you know, see you know, just exactly, you know, how my game stacks up with theirs. It'll be exciting to see that first game between you and Matt. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be uh, reserving tickets for that one because that's going to be, uh, you know, more than just a game. It's going to be personal between <laughs> Matt and Brandon. I'm just, I'm just joking. You know, talking about personal here, you're, you're, uh, you're turning 28 next month. Uh, yeah, the, the only things I know about you are that, plus you come from a town called uh, uh, Temecula. You know, I, I yeah. actually know somebody from Temecula, California. He's a classmate of mine. Uh, uh, he used wow. to be a, um, uh, yeah, he used to be um, a, um, you know, um, working in a golf course and he's retired there. So I know, I, I know someone from there, but other than that, and of course you're the brother of Matt, uh, but other than that, I think, we, I want to know a little bit more about you. First of all, are you married? Are you single? Do you have a family? Do you have kids? I'm single, you know. I, uh, all right. I'm really focused right. on uh, basketball and stuff right now. So. All right. So there you go, ladies. Uh, uh, Brandon <laughs> is single right here. <laughs> all right. Did you always want to be a basketball player, uh, Brandon? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's something that, you know, I knew that I was really good at. And then, you know, seeing my brother play, um, you know, that's something that I inspired to be. But also, you know, I had dreams that, you know, maybe one day I could be on the radio. You know, I went to school for media. 
and uh, communication. So, uh, you know, one day, you know, I, back then I was, you know, hoping that I might be on the radio and be a, you know, mm. a DJ or a radio personality. But, you know, I think the Why basketball not? team. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe one day I'll do a show like this or a podcast. You never know. So. Why not? You know, I, I'll be away for a week. Maybe you can take over the the show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. When you were growing up, uh, you know, obviously there, you you idolize certain players. You idolize certain heroes. Who were your childhood idols and heroes, uh, Brandon? Uh, you know, I grew up in Southern California, but, you know, my dad and my family are from, uh, you know, his side of the family is from Philadelphia. That's why I have the Sixers stuff on. So, you know, I grew up idolizing Allen Iverson, but also, mm -hmm. you know, idolizing Kobe Bryant because, you know, who else, who didn't, you know, idolize Kobe. So, you know, I think, um, you know, over the years, you know, I've been able to, you know, take their fieriness, you know, the way that they play, you know, all out. You know, that's something that, you know, I saw a lot growing up. And uh, you know, I think that's the best way to play basketball. So, you know, Kobe and Iverson, you know, they way, the way they played, you know, I really liked it growing up. Well, uh, the city of brotherly love. That's why I love your shirt. And of course, Kobe <laughs> was from Philadelphia, you know, although he played in L.A. Um, and it's good to to have a brother Philly fan here. Although we're always uh, we're always uh, in mourning. <laughs> so to speak. Right. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, when did you learn about the PBA? Um, uh, you know, even even before Matt played, when did you guys learn about the PBA? And did you immediately have you know tell yourself, "Hey, I want to play there one day"? Actually, you know, we um, growing up, my mom had the you know Filipino package you know channels uh, back ah, home. So all right, uh, all right. yeah, we would watch games <laughs> and. It's funny because I, one of my earliest memories of the PBA is watching, you know, Jimmy Alapong, you know, and then full wow. circle moment, you know, I was able to play with, for him. That's so right. that was back in like the early, you know, 2000s. And, um, you know, that's when I first, you know, saw the PBA. And then obviously, you know, Matt, you know, when he went to college, right. you know, he, um, you know, had the opportunity to come and play for the national team and then, you know, go mm. to the PBA. So that's, uh, that's when we found out. That's when I found out about the PBA. All right, you know, you just came from the Southeast Asian Games, uh, Brandon. You've been playing 3x3 uh, in the PBA for Limitless, and you represented the country in Hanoi. Uh, unfortunately, you did not, um, you know, make it to the, um, to the gold medal game, and uh, the Philippines ended up uh, in third place. It is a disappointment, uh, I tell you, because, uh, you know, we had, we had ruled this previously in 2019. Tell us about your assessment about uh, your... Um, tournament in 3x3 at the Southeast Asian Games? Well, first of all, it was a great experience. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, a couple months ago I would have never thought of would be playing on the national 3x3 team. But, uh, you know, it was really fun. And, you know, to do it with my Limitless teammates, you know, Joey Napolis, Raymar Kaduya, and Marvin Hayes, you know, it was an honor, you know, playing with those guys because, you know, we put in a lot of work for the past, you know, seven, eight months. But um, no, I thought we, we, we played well. You know, I think um, that team back in 2019, uh, they really <laughs> woke up a lot of the other countries that, you know, they got to right, take it serious. Right. So a lot of teams sent <laughs> their best players. So, um, you know, we competed hard. You know, we had opportunities. You know, the team we lost to in the semifinals, you know, Thailand, you know, we beat earlier and, um, you know, they just, you know, they got our number that, that game. But, uh, you know, I'm so proud of the, of the guys and, you know, Coach Willie Wilson, you know, for get, having us prepared. And, you know, it was just right, a great right. experience overall. And, you know, for us to win the bronze, you know, that was, uh, you know, that was good because, you know, we didn't come back empty-handed. Uh, in, your, in your mind, what is the biggest difference between 3x3 and 5 on 5 Probably the pace of the game. You know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a quick... You know, there's not a lot of breaks. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, physicality, like I said earlier. And, uh, you know, it's it's really fun, though. You know, once I was able to get my legs underneath me and, you know, adjust to the game, you know, I, was, I had some, some good success. So uh, it yeah, was really yeah. fun. You know, I that was my first time, you know, this, this stint of me playing 3x3. That was my first time ever playing 3x3. So, right, um, right. You know, it was really cool, and um, you know, I'm happy that uh, you know my basketball journey took me there. Well, it's interesting that you say that it's your first time because it could it could possibly be not your last because you played really well. A lot of people were very impressed with the way you played three x three. 
So are, are you willing to play 3x3 again, especially for the national team? Yeah, for sure. I think I, I could do it for the national team. I don't know about, you know, the PBA 3x3. That was a grind. <laughs> you know, that was oh, yeah. tough oh, yeah. my, <laughs> that was <pretty laughs> tough my body. But, you know, if I was ever, you know, asked to represent the country again on, you know, the 3x3, you know, I would gladly, you know, want, you know accept. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, that isn't my last time, you know, playing for the uh, national team. All right. Well, before I, I finish up, uh, let me just do a little bit of a, a quick uh, over and under uh, for, for you here, uh, because you know I want to I want to get your thoughts about this uh, very quickly. More or less, trying to summarize your goals this coming uh, rookie season that you are facing. Over and under, Blackwater had only one win last season. Over and under, four wins this coming conference. Oh, I'm thinking the over. Well, obviously, I'm thinking the over. You know. Uh... I think the focus is there. We just got to execute. So, you know, I think we can, All right. you know, we can surprise some teams. All right. You, uh, over and under, when you played with, uh, with Alab, you averaged about 4.9 points a game. So, over and under, 10 points a game this uh, conference. Uh, and I'll say over again. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, I can put the ball in the basket a little bit better than I did on Alab. <laughs> All right. Free throw percentage uh, with Alab, you shot only 52%. Uh, now, I'm going to give you an over and under. 70% in your first conference. I've worked uh, really hard on my free throws. So, <laughs> I'm going to pick the over again. Uh, you know, wow, the free throws, great. That's, not, that's, that's funny that you brought that up because that is something that I really worked hard on, my free throw percentage. And, Excellent. You know, I got shot Excellent. in the 70s or 80s and 3x3, so... Uh, you know, hopefully I can, you know, carry that to 5-on-5. Five five. All right. And and finally, you know, Blackwater needs a lot of help inside, you know, uh, as a big. And, of course, rebounding, they, they had problems in that particular department. With Alab, you averaged two and a half rebounds. I'll put it at five. Double that. Over and under. It's over again, man. It's, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I can, you know, improve my numbers. Hopefully as a team, you know, like you said, you know, we can, uh, you know, crash the boards a little bit better and, uh, you know, hold teams to one shot. So I'm going to pick the over again. You know, well, with all of that prediction uh, on the over and under, you know, things are looking up for Blackwater. I, I'm very <laughs> excited for your team. As a final question, uh, Brandon, what are your goals on your rookie season? Are you looking to win the rookie of the year? Uh, you know, I think, you know, to get the rookie of the year, you have to win games. You know, uh, individual numbers aren't, you know, the only thing that, you know, voters look at. So, you know, I think if I can go and affect, uh, you know, change and affect, you know, winning, uh, you know, I'll have a good opportunity to get it. But, uh, you know, that's not my focus. My focus is getting better and winning games and then let the, you know, other stuff take care of itself. Well, you know, uh, the future definitely looks very bright for you and Blackwater, and we're excited to see you finally play in the PBA on, uh, in the regular game this coming June. Good luck to you in the PBA, Brandon, and we look forward to having you again on the show. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. At dyan po nagtatapos ang uh, ating uh, episode ngayong Sabadong ito ng Power and Good Play. Again, nagpapasalamat po kami sa lahat ng uh, nakasama natin ngayong araw pong ito. Of course, lahat po sa inyo na patuloy na tumututok at sumusubaybay sa ating palatuntunan na magkita-kita po ulit tayo sa susunod na Sabado and of course sa amin laging sinasabi tuwing Sabado bawal ang masungit at sa lahat po ng ating gawain ad mayorem de gloriam all for the greater glory of God kami po ang 1PH teleservisyo para sa Pilipino susunod na po ang inay ko po Happy Sports Weekend mga kapatid More Power More play.